Welcome to the Metaphysical Art Theater. My name is Lindell, and tonight, catching yourself. And you may say, well, I'm not falling. But what it is that you may be falling for is that you think that what you're saying, self-talk, is falling into the past, and it isn't. It is our future. It isn't falling into the past. It is being projected into our future, future situations. Well, you may have said it days ago, weeks ago, maybe even years ago, but consciousness doesn't forget. If anything, any idea becomes persistent, consistent in, in your world of thinking and feeling, you're going to experience it in your everydayness, I assure you. It may be delayed and delayed by your shifting attention, not paying attention, not being focused. But if you don't have an interest or, or a hunger to know first person that you're operating the power and that you're doing so morning, noon, and night, aware or unaware, willingly or unwillingly, and our suggestion is that the more you know about what you're doing, the better you'll do it in yourself to direct your own inner conversations. Because as you do so, correct your own inner conversation. In other words, to lead you where you want to go, your dream, your mission, your goal. Think on these things. Yes, it's as simple as that. Well, those who are resolute to hear first person, I mean to know first person, well, they'll, they'll receive much from the hearing again and again, reiteration. And I hear that, oh, that's all so really deep. I heard that so often. And actually what it was I discovered was that it wasn't really deep. That's what I thought when I first heard it. It's just that I was so shallow. I was operating very shallow in my thinking and feeling, in my feeling after well, no, I just didn't follow through even when I heard what I agreed with. I agreed it was a good idea, but did I follow through? Even when I said I agreed with it, I still didn't follow through. Oh, it sounded like something that was worthy of my attention, but I didn't follow through to the point that I would actually begin to feel, feeling the feeling that is the fact that I am that I am. Better than the best is what you're told to focus on. Think only on things that are lovely and a good report, as we're instructed to do. Just think about it. Feel after to know that you know first person. Well, actually, you do already know. You may not be aware of what it is you know at the moment, but you are coded to know. You aren't coded to know when you hear. I was told as a child, as I was an idiot, I wouldn't amount to much of anything. And I'm sure many have had such experiences. But it's wrong. I have a valid say. You have a valid say. Every child in the world has a valid say. They may, they may as, as, as I was, unaware of it. Most are unaware of the fact that they have a valid say. But generally man's problem is, is that he is unaware that he's operating the power. Just how valid his say is. Morning, noon, and night, yes. Well, yes, it's valid. You can change your mind and change your world, you're told, to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. I'll tell you how valid it is. It is your everydayness right up to this very moment. You're given to change your mind and change your world. Why not, why not attempt to do so? You're given to do so. You're told, do a thing, and you shall have the power. Well, someone else may not like the idea. It's not about you agreeing with them. You're agreeing with the ideas that you have accepted are better than the best you've yet known. And if you'll do so, and you'll do so consistently, persistently, you'll discover that your as within is actually your as without. Your world of experiencing, your world of everydayness. Well, it's carrying it out into your world of emotion, movement out from, your world is coming through you. It isn't coming to you. It is about a change of mind. It says that all things are possible to those who believe. All things. Yeah, get that. All things are possible. There's no restriction. There's no limit put on choose ye this day. I haven't found one in Scripture. All things are possible to him who believes. What do you believe? Well, it all hinges on what you believe. And everyone believes something. 
But that's your world of experiencing. Examine it. I mean, if you're acting in faith, everything hinges on our acting in faith. Your model, the model that you're sending through subconscious mind, well, thinking, feelingly, imaginally, it is a model you're, you're sending to subconscious mind. What are you doing there? Are you aware? See, that's the message. Be aware. Be more aware. To direct, to direct your own inner conversations. Because that's, that's your everydayness. Oh. <laughs> when someone says, well, how does this work for you? Well, it works as I work it. As I pay attention. As I'm focused. And as, and as I become more and more wholehearted in the idea, I see the appearance of such in the physical. Move in and think from consistently, persistently for a time, enough to plant the seed of the new idea, the new attitude with, with your attention. That, that's the message to every child born of woman. No, I'm not aware all the time. I, I'm, a, I'm very aware we're not aware all the time. But the more the better. All the distractions going on around you, yes, yes. And then, well, there are those who, who take the time to ask personal questions. Personally, what I, that's none of your business. This isn't about me, the man, Lendl. I'm not here trying to tell you that I am an example. I'm a witness. You're about saying your valid say, and your world of experiencing is the result of your valid say. And to satisfy those who are curious, guilty of all the things that man is guilty of, yes, yes, I confess. Even if I didn't go out and do it, I at least thought it. And it is the thinking that makes it so, and the consistent, persistent feeling after a certain idea that brings it into our experiencing. You see, our business here is to mind our business. Yes, our minding our own business. Because that's what you are. You are your business. That's the part you're playing. That's what you're doing. And hopefully you're thinking on things that are lovely and of good report, as we are instructed to do. Healthy, wealthy, good relationships. If that's what you're doing, well, that's your world of experiencing. That's, that's wonderful. Oh, it can be heaven on earth or it can be hell on earth. You're, you're told to bring heaven on earth. And why tell you to do so if you can't do so? That you're given to do so. Oh, and why tell you to do so if you can't do so? Why tell you choose ye this day if there isn't any answer? See, it's difficult operating in, in, in your world if you're trying to defend yourself against yourself, against your paying attention, about really paying attention. Blessed is the man that does not condemn himself for that which he has allowed. There it is. Has allowed. That doesn't mean to continue. Has allowed. In other words, the reason you're where you are at the moment. But if you're unforgiving to yourself, you see, that's the damper on your thinking and feeling in your success in life. Well, you'll receive the better ideas if you'll feel after so. I mean, just be willing to discern for yourself, to test for yourself what you say you find agreement with in your own heart. And this is not telling you what to think. This is a suggestion that you watch what you think so you'll know where you're going. Well, whatever, you, whatever makes sense to you, whatever you find agreement with, whatever you feel is worthy of your attention, pay attention. No, no, I'm not telling you what to think. This is information. If you're using the information, wonderful. I was standing on a curb waiting for my wife to come out of the store. And a car pulled up and the window rolled down. And the lady asked me, sir, could you tell us where the Senior Citizen Center is? And I'm told that it's near the library. Yes, ma'am. Just go two blocks down at the light, make a left, go about a half, a quarter to a half a mile. You'll see a big sign that says Public Library. And you'll make a left turn into the parking lot. And in the parking lot, if you'll look to the north, you'll see the Senior Citizen Center. Thank you, she said. Window rolled up. She drove away. Did they go to the library? Did they go to the senior citizen center? See, as to rather they went there or not, that's none of my business. She asked me for instructions. I gave her instructions. I gave her the information as to rather you accept what you hear or not. 
that's your business that's not my business this is your message this is your message first person present tense you left this message for yourself the I amness in man is God all things to all that if he didn't do it it wasn't done I am with you always I will never leave you omnipresence that's the message that's right if God didn't do it we're told it wasn't done just start right there to actually begin to pursue better than the best thinking only on things that are lovely and of good report and as you think you are test yourself we're told we're told God is love absolute love and absolute love loves absolutely and that is the salvation of mankind absolute love loves absolutely so there's really no problem about the end it is in the nowness what are you doing what are you thinking what are you feeling after because what you're looking for is looking for you well attitude awareness and imaginational control is what you're looking for and someone says well God didn't do all the terrible things that you see going on all things all things the power all things one power all things and if he didn't do it it wasn't done well we're speaking of the power you're operating the power being operated through man's model man's ideas man's feeling after that's your world of experiencing the power is in you you're operating from the power saying what but it is we who are doing the choose ye this day and hopefully it's for the better look if you're having a problem you're having a problem because you're being delivered into a state of mind that you develop thinking ahead of your evidence good or otherwise well if you need a new yeah, okay, well, you need a new idea, a new state of mind. You need a, a new vision. Yes, a new assumption. Look, when you entered in, you were innocent being born. And you have been conditioned. We were all conditioned to the ongoing drama in varying degrees of intensity and intent, falsehoods or truths. No, no, no. No, no, this is not about fault or blame or any of that nonsense. You were conditioned. Now you've reached the age of reason. Let's reason. Yes, you're, you're conditioned to the ongoing drama upon entering in. But if, you, but if you have reached the age of reason, then you're given to discern for yourself to change your mind and change your world. Oh, I, I used to watch a television about the size of your two hands uh, many years ago. And I had this uh, big uh, tablet called Red Chief, I think, or Big Chief. And it had a picture on the front of a full-dress Indian, an American Indian, yeah, in full dress. And I would sit and doodle while I was listening to the programs. And, well, the story in Scripture is really very simple. It is about me talking to me, you talking to you through the words that you're using and feeling, feeling what? The power is what it is you're operating. It's not a little power, it's not some power, it's the power because there is only one power. Well, as Jesus said, I and my Father are one even as you and I are one. So you're operating the one power. And he said, I of myself, Jesus says this, I of myself can do nothing. It is the Father within. He does all the work. So your work is to imagine lovely and a good report. Well, yes, it's, it's given choose ye this day. Because if you're thinking as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he, so does he, so has he, again and again. This is repeated in varying ways throughout the scripture. Your world is coming through you. It isn't coming to you. And I know if you're judging by appearances, it may appear to be coming from without, as it does appear. But why does God allow these terrible things to happen, you say? You were the one given choose ye this day. And everything that is happening in the world today is what man is choosing, wise or unwise, willingly or unwillingly, knowingly or unknowingly. The idea is, is to just be more aware, to direct your own inner conversations to what is lovely and of good report. Just ordering your conversations wisely. I was told that 
from Scripture that if a man would order his conversations aright, that he would be shown salvation. The answers, the solutions. What are you looking for? What are you feeling after? Well, if you don't have a hunger to know first person yet, most of this will probably just go right over your head as it did to me. But then it's just hearsay and of no power. You see, the story of Scripture is this. Only God suffers. And someone says, well, how can you, being a man, say such a thing? Scripture says so. There's only God, Scripture says so. Not the good God, God. To say good God would mean there's to infer there's other than good, and there isn't. That's the dream. Humanity needs to drop the nonsense. This is a shadow world. There's only God. This is the dream, the dream of man, the dream of God. God became man. He's not pretending to be man. God became man. I am with you always. I will never leave you. It's not a pretense. You're given choose ye this day. Well, yeah, you, you get your information from God who's with you always, if you'll turn to him. You turn to me, I'll turn to you. That's the message. Has been the message. Thousands of years, that's the message. But who partakes of it? Well, you were left a remembrancer, that you would remember, a comforter, that, would, that we would be comforted. And the comforting thought, idea that's passed along to you, that in the end there's only Jesus Christ and we shall be like him. See, your say is a valid say. You're about saying your valid say. Just be more aware of what you're saying with your valid say. And in every greater degree, degree of awakening, yes, well, yeah, you can use it as affirmations just to get the hang of what you're saying to yourself. Yes. Well, attitude awareness and imaginational control is just for that. You must be the one to claim. You know, we're told we receive not because we ask not or that we're asking amiss. Now, this is something, don't slide over that so quickly. This is asking amiss that you really want to be aware of. Because if you're not monitoring your own inner conversations, you see, you won't know where you're leading you. Yes, you're directing yourself through your conversations. And you'll see where you've been leading yourself all along. It's your everydayness, and you'll know where you are because of thinking ahead of your evidence. Well, Scripture is about what God is doing as man. Well, none can stay his hand, or... Yes. No, well, no, there's nothing going wrong. There's no, we're not in the sense of right and wrong as man determines. Oh, yeah, I see the papers. I, I hear the TV. I hear the news, yes. But that's what's going on in the world on the without, which is secondhand. All of that was only new as idea. Yes, it's always equated with our thinking and feeling, our experiencing, just to be more aware of what we're doing, dreaming the dream. And we're told to dream the dream. You, I mean, yeah, it can become a nightmare, but if it has become a nightmare, you're given change your mind and change your world. <laughs> well, most are not adverse in metaphysics. But as we use the word metaphysical, it's only that which comes after a greater degree.